Why is Team of the Week 16 one of the most interested? Well, because only the Premier League from the biggest competitions have been playing. I'm your boy Viva La FIFA and I will show you all the candidates to get that amazing final spot in Team of the Week 16. And I promise you this, if you did your weekend league, if you got high division rewards, you will be rewarded with huge players from the Premier League. And we also have a surprise move for the goalkeeper Luis Suarez. So I hope you love the video and if you do, smash a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more and put on the notification bell. If you're looking for the safest place to get your FIFA 20 coins, look no further. Go to safefatcoins.com and use the code VIVA for 5% off your order and start building your dream team. Well, let's go. We are starting off with the goalkeepers and the first one one is hero card Luis Suarez as a goalkeeper. Some people will say, hey, he got some good practice in 2010 against Ghana. Yeah, that's correct. But he played in the farewell game of his former teammate, you know him, Forlam, the Man United flop and the Villarreal and Atletico Madrid hero. Suarez in that game played as a goalkeeper and I know normally it won't count but how cool would it be if EA put Suarez there as a goalkeeper. I don't care about the rating but would you buy him? Smash a thumbs up if you would. It was really a Merry Christmas for the Watford fans because in three games they picked up seven points and now they are back in the relegation battle because without those points I think they would already have been relegated because you can't change such a big gap but now another great win Foster did great in those two games he saved many times against who was it Man United and also in a 3-0 win he made some fabulous saves. Luckily Chelsea got a win against Arsenal because of Baron Leno but a couple of days earlier they faced a good goalkeeper with McCarty. The Southampton goalkeeper didn't only keep a clean sheet he only got 6 saves. That is not super much but at Stamford Bridge winning that game I think McCarthy has a good chance. Rangers fans congratulations I hope the Celtic fans can be very sportive and let me know down in the comment section how was the game in real life if you were there at the stadium. It's one of the games I'm always willing to visit. So if you're a Rangers or Celtic fan well give me a ticket and I will join you. McGregor he didn't keep a clean sheet but he made very important saves for his team Rangers and they got a win away from home at Celtic for the first time in 10 years. On with the center backs and the first one is Tompkins. Nothing special so we are moving on very fast. What did he do? He picked up one assist for Crystal Palace. Second in form Vida is a lot more interesting. Although I think his teammate will get it. Vida got a one goal in a big win for his team Bejiktas and let's face it if this card would play in the Premier League it would be over 2 3 400k. The match winner between the Rangers and Celtic was the center back Kartic and for me he is a guaranteed player after week 16. The goalkeeper McGregor he can get it but as I told you Kartic is my number one. It might be a little bit thinking outside the box but I know EA does that time by time and I go for 1B Saka. He got one assist in the win for his team Manchester United. Yeah I know Rashford, Martial they did even better but who knows the only one to watch card who could be in there this week is 1B Saka and let's face it he is playing a great season. Season. Matt Doherty of the Wolves. No, I'm not a Wolves fan. You know, I have a lot of shirts, but it was a very special victory. 2-0 down, two times Raheem Sterling, and they turned it around. Adama Traore was the big man, but we can't rule out Matt Doherty because he scored the winning goal in injury time, I even think with his weak foot. Can we call him the best right back in the world at the moment? I think we can. Who is better do you think guys? Let me know it down in the comment section. I think 1B Saka is doing great but Trent Alexander-Arnold is doing even better. He looks from another universe. He got one goal, two assists on Boxing Day. Another big victory for Liverpool and at the moment I'm recording this video, Liverpool 
still has to play against the Wolves, so I'll keep you up to date how that will go, but Trent is a guarantee already. Another team that did pretty well around the holidays, it's Everton, with Carlo Ancelotti as the new manager, they got two victories in a row. Sidebe, he picked up one assist in one of those wins, and with the lack of fullbacks, for me, he is a player who can get it. As I told you with Vida, uh, my number one for Besiktas is uh, Hutchinson, the CDM. He got one goal and a hat-trick of assist. Of course Vida his card is more special but Hutchinson he really deserved it more. We are starting off with Aston Villa and there we have two players. We have Jack Grealish and Hurrihan and what did they do? Well both of them were important in a 1-0 win. Grealish got an amazing assist Burian got the goal. Talking about amazing goals on Boxing Day, the most beautiful goal was scored in my opinion by Dali Ali. He also got a goal against Norwich City and he got the assist where Gain got that penalty. Uh, so Harry Kane scored the goal but Dali Ali, he had that good assist leading towards that penalty. Plus a goal in that game, that means two goals. One 50-50 assist, let's call it that way. So Dali Ali, he did great. What a first touch it was by Aaron Mui. And after that, it was boom, the 2-0 deciding that game. Mui never scored a goal so far for the Sea Eagles. Is it called that way, the nickname? Well, maybe Seagulls, something like that, Brighton and Hove. So Mui, the Australian man, got finally his first goal and that could lead to a Team of the Week nominee. Two players with one goal from the CDM position. The first one is Jorginho. He should have been off the pitch against Arsenal with a second yellow card, but instead he stayed on the pitch and he scored after Bernd Leno making a huge mistake. The second one is Kuyate of Crystal Palace. He also got one goal in a 2-1 win, but there is another Crystal Palace player that stole the show. I think you know who if you watched it. Finally, Ayose Perez got some playing time because the Leicester City manager Brandon Rodgers was saved saving some players because they were too tired. He played as a cam. I love him on the cam position. As a winger, his inform card was unusable, too slow. He got two assists from that cam position with a stunning card. There he is, my man of the wolves, Adama Traore. He is on the bench against Liverpool, so oof, Liverpool fans, good luck for you. You are very lucky because Traore, his pace is extraordinary. A 99 rated pace card already and we didn't even hit 2020. He got one goal, one assist against the reigning champions of Manchester City. So he scored a fabulous goal, what a shot that was, and he took the ball away from the center back or the left back Mendy and he got the assist to set up Raul Jimenez to score a very easy tap in. But Adame, the man is in great shape and he is on fire. Marcus Rashford position change to the left midfield spot. Is one goal and one assist good enough for Rashford to be in there? Well, I think his teammate, nope, not one Bisaka, has a bigger chance. But I know the Man United fans are a huge fan of the Youth Academy star. So United fans, don't hesitate to smash a thumbs up for your Marcus Rashford. We go down the divisions. Is that Swindon Town or Swindon City? We have Anderson, the right midfielder who can normally play as a cam, got a hat trick. Also for Southampton, the Christmas period was pretty nice. They got a lot of gifts. They got a gift against Chelsea, a 2-0 victory. Nathan Redmond, he scored a very important 2-0 goal and he played a very good game overall. Manchester City still has to face Sheffield United but I'm busy tomorrow guys so that's why I record the video a little bit earlier on. So Sterling got two goals against the Wolves. Uh, luckily it didn't lead to a victory so for that he is a little bit of a gamble but if he can put in one goal or maybe one goal one assist against Sheffield United for me he is also a guaranteed player. As I told you in the game between Man City and the Wolves Adama Traore and Matt Doherty were the big players for me but we can't keep out Raul Jimenez. He got one goal and one assist. May I introduce to you guys Lionel Messi Ayou. And if you saw the game, you know what I'm talking about. What a fabulous goal he scored against West Ham United. It was deciding 2-1 in that game, so three points for Palace, but the goal was amazing. From the right-hand side, cutting inside, doing a little bit of turn, turn, and there he was, boom, past five guys, and he chipped it over the goalkeeper. 
Plus, not only the goal, also one assist on Kuyate. I am really feeling sorry for Pierre Emerick because, well, the Arsenal team defending goalkeeper is horrible. He saved them against Bournemouth with one goal. He set them up against Chelsea to become the match winner, but Ben Leno was thinking otherwise together with his center back. So I'm not blaming Aubameyang. I'm looking to individual players and he got two goals from two chances in an Arsenal team that is quite horrible. Ali Watkins is playing for Brentford in the championship, but what a promising card this could be. A second inform card for Ali Watkins for getting two goals. Galatasaray, a 5-0 or 5-1 victory was good enough for Radamel Falcao to pick up two goals. Mariano, the right back, got one assist. He could get it instead of Falcao, but I go for the striker of Colombia. El Tigre. Two players on one position. The first one is Oko Reke of Club Bruges in the Belgian Pro League got two goals. The second one is Trabzonspor striker Alexander Sörlot. He got two goals and one assist. Maybe EA will even pick them both. We are turning to the last page and there we find Calvert-Lewin. Trust me guys, a 1 million percent guaranteed team of the week 16 players because in those two games Calvert-Lewin picked up four goals. The only four goals scored by Everton is scored by the man from the youth academy. How cool is that? With team of the year coming around the corner, there could be a possibility that EA is keeping Trent Alexander-Arnold out of team of the week 16 because they can't get two special cards to be in packs. That's impossible. So if that will happen, Bobby Firmino could be there, but he also has a Team of the Week 15 card as a hero for deciding the Super Cup for club teams. So there is a problem with Liverpool. Too many great players. If one of them will be huge against the Wolves, like Salah, or Mane, or Wijnaldum, I think they can get the spot. Firmino got two goals, by the way. Roy Dini, Watford striker with goals. Finally, the goalkeeper Foster saved them many times, but Dini also did something great. He got two goals in his 3-0 win. Manchester United fans will be happier and happier with all the results they see around them. Teams dropping points, and if they can keep it going, they can still finish in the top four, and that means qualification for next year's Champions League. Anthony Martial, yeah, there we have him. Marcus Rashford has a chance. Juan Bissaka has a chance, but Martial, position change, played as a striker and got two goals, maybe even two goals and one assist, but that doesn't change a thing. He played a great game and I think the Man United fans would love to see their Martial being there in Team After Week 16. Smash a thumbs up United fans if you agree with me and football fans in FIFA if you love Martial as a center forward or as a striker. Let me know clicking the i button. Who is your favorite today in the video? Don't forget to smash a thumbs up on the vid if you love it, I hope you did. Subscribe for more FIFA and football videos and put on the notification bell. I really thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching. Stay around on my channel, watch more videos. You know the drill, guys. Take something to drink, to eat, relax, watch my vids, and I will see you back tomorrow with a new video on my channel. I wish you all a nice day, and as you know for me, keep it cool, keep it real, and ciao for now. Echoes of your words crashing into me. Drown